Keeping you safe when disaster strikes. Baldwin County, the first county in the country to get new specialized training for first responders. WKRD News 5's Brianna Hollis is live on the causeway tonight to explain why the Gulf Coast was chosen for this new program. Yeah, so these federal reps are currently in the process of getting to know the lay of the land in Baldwin County so they can then craft a disaster simulation exercise for our emergency management crews. A lot happens in this room. It's where Baldwin County crews get ready for this. In a couple weeks, EMA headquarters will house a groundbreaking disaster training operation. Baldwin EMA trains all the time, but this time is different. The Center for Disaster Preparedness is in charge. Federal representatives will create a mock disaster situation based on the threats we face on the central Gulf Coast. For this exercise, we are not going to know what is going to happen and when, and that's what's going to make it real. We have to participate as we would as if something occurred this afternoon, tomorrow, or next week. 2020's hurricane season, a reminder of how imperative it is for first responders across the county to work together and work quickly. We have to plan, prepare, and uh, mitigate against what we can, when we can, and the only way to do that is exercise what we know our threats and hazards are. An EMA director, Zach Hood, says Baldwin County was pegged to be the pilot for this program because of how quickly it's growing. According to last year's census data, it's currently the third largest county in Alabama. Live from the Causeway, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.